All right, today on Free Satellite TV, we have uh, Tyler, the Antenna Man. He came up from, uh, it's his first time out of, uh, out of the USA, and you came to Canada. Yes, 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 sir. All right, uh, so um, everyone wants to know is, uh, how do you get into antennas? So this is a question I've gotten a lot. Um, I haven't made a video exactly about it, but um, so when I was five years old, I was playing around with, um, I wasn't much of a guy who played with toys. I played with, um, I was a tinkerer of technology. So there was this TV set like in my family's room that was just sitting down, wasn't being used. So I plugged in, turned it on, and it was picking up TV stations with nothing plugged in. And I thought it was amazing how it was working. So. I got my first TV when I was uh, seven years old. I saved up report card money. And the same time, my father happened to move to a remote location behind a mountain right when I got that TV. So I got basically no channels with it. And I was like crushed because I was fascinated at my old location getting all these TV stations and I got nothing by the time I got my own TV. So I spent years playing with the antennas and getting different TV sets and events just to get some trace, very weak signal because we were behind a mountain there wasn't much to get except New York stations about you know 70 miles away and then just it was a lot of trial and error when the digital transition happened I lost kind of what I had so that was even more of a challenge I wanted to overcome to try different antennas to at least get something and then throughout the years I started installing antennas same thing a lot of trial and error trying different antennas and understanding the frequencies and signal strength and realizing that it's, a, it's technologically based like there's science behind it that you got to look up and you know so it led you to doing a YouTube YouTube channel. Yes. You, uh, so you started. You have a YouTube like channel. Like everyone has a YouTube channel. Right? Yeah. It's right. Um, so you were doing other videos before, but then you found do, uh, you, you're also your passions in tennis. So you're starting to do uh, videos about antennas, right? Yes. Yeah, so actually, when I started my YouTube channel, it actually was not antennas. It was just tech reviews of stuff because I was, was a, your name basically. Yeah, it was basically Tyler, and it was uh, tech reviews of like camera equipment I had. I did Grubhub videos because I was a Grubhub driver for a while, and then I started putting out content about antennas, thinking that there wasn't much of a market for it because I didn't know anyone who used an antenna. But it turns out there was a pretty big market that not only was there a market, there was an untapped market that no one was really, you know, pursuing. So I, I think I did a really good approach to reviewing antennas by, you know, comparing them to different, uh, you know, different antennas in the same location. And, and then, and just, let me say this before Tyler on YouTube, if you did a like uh, antenna reviews, you'd have this video, video animation video. We're going to talk about the next two, like the guy from like who did Kit's voice in Knight Rider where he was talking. Talking, and he was like, the, the, and it would come to the top antenna is like this junky flat antenna. And then Tyler came around and actually gave us like like a reception review and showed actually showed us on screen how it worked. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. A lot of people who review antennas, there's not much substance to it where they'll just say, I got... 30 channels or something and, and some people who, who say what the best antennas are there's actually no backing whatsoever it's almost like it's based off affiliate links and you know sponsorship there's no data to back it up so I'm very glad I provide some substance and transparency to antennas and performance and I can show you exactly on a screen you know how well this antenna performs for certain frequencies while you look up any newspaper article any of you out there look up a newspaper article on the best antennas there's no backing to them they're all just itty bitty flat flat antennas and it's like who made this like I understand you're a journalist it's a, it's a thousand mile antenna yeah it, it's insane that's probably what they do based off the range claims if that's the case I'll make my own antenna and say it's a, a million mile antenna it's outrageous but I appreciate the kind words about that because uh, Robbie Strike just told me that like I guess before my YouTube channel there wasn't really any good information about antennas and probably a lot of people were duped into buying junk antennas so um, I appreciate the kind words yeah. All right. and uh what, what, where do you see your future with doing your channel? What, what do you see uh, uh, coming up uh, in your next videos and uh, what are you going to be producing in the next uh, year or so? Yeah, so um, I've been looking at my YouTube channel from an analytics approach. I've looked at all of the videos that I've produced and what performed the best based on what my viewers like. And some of the videos I'm working on are more controversial, like um, how NBC took their affiliation away from some TV stations. Um, I'm going to talk about, you know, the, can ATSC 3.0 flop? I'm going to review a lot more antennas. The issue is, so I'm trying to review outdoor antennas. I've taken a hiatus for like a few months and I'm waiting on a day that's not 90 degrees because I don't want to be on a hot, hot 
tar roof when it's 90 degrees and I've just been waiting and go figure we've had the longest heat wave in my area for the longest time but yeah I'd say a lot more antenna reviews I'm um, just regular reception tips and more interesting videos because I looked at the data on how my videos are performing and can tell what topics are doing well and which ones aren't doing well Thank you. And where can we find you online? Do you have a website uh, uh, where we can find you? Yeah, so my YouTube channel is just youtube.com forward slash Antenna Man. My website is antennamanpa.com. But if you just look up Antenna Man either on Google or YouTube, you'll find All you got to do is do a DuckDuckGo for Antenna Man. You'll see his smiling face. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Well, thank, thank you very much, Tyler, for coming over and visiting today. And uh, uh, check out his channel. And uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Hey kids, look! It's an antenna man! You can put an antenna up and get free TV channels with an over-the-air antenna! Woo! Woo! A satellite dish!